long before time had a name. There was the pilot season of Ninjago, one of the all-time best seasons for LEGO sets, and it came with two awesome sets me and my brother were never able to get our hands on. This is the Lightning Dragon and Turbo Shredder. These two sets are really cool, and my brother Carlin has a super good track record with building cool dragons and cool machines. I'm going to put him up to the challenge to see if he can recreate these two awesome Ninjago sets into something magnificent. Let the challenge begin. Back when I built Cole's Dragon, we promised you guys that we would make the other two dragons if that video got over 10,000 likes. And it exceeded expectations, so here we are. The first challenge was the dragon itself. I love dragons. I love building them out of Lego. For Jay's Lightning Dragon, I kind of took the design that the original dragon had. The first thing to decide on was a color scheme. I finally settled on dark blue for the top and medical blue for the underbelly. But there was one other color we decided on for the dragon, and that was Lego's new neon yellow. This color is very rare, and we don't have any of those pieces yet. Notice how he said, yet. We are about to buy a bunch of neon yellow slow pieces to add to this dragon to make it really pop. While we wait for them to come in the mail, let's keep building. The whole thing is made up of smaller sections, so it's very flexible like a real Chinese dragon. I also tried to make the dragon very spiny and spiky. I started with the chest area, added connectors for the wings and legs. From there, I added the tail, which uses a bunch of mixel joints. I ran a row of silver spikes along the top of it. The front feet were custom built by me, and I thought the yellow claws used for it really helped them pop. I went to the zoo and looked at the Chinese dragons we have there to Bruh. see how I should actually make the head. The dragon has the iconic antlers sticking from its head, and also the, the mustache and beard. For the eyes, I actually used the little green bolts from Aaron's crossbow in Nexo Knights. These pieces come in useful so often. We also added a saddle onto his neck, which is removable like the other ones we've made. Finally, it's time to work on the wings. For these, I made a Technic structure underneath so that they're easily foldable. I added black spikes around the edge. They're attached using ball joints. It's nearly done, but now it's time to hand it off to Brick Legends for the final details. The Lightning Dragon is looking phenomenal, but it's far from done. Back when we made Cole's Earth Dragon, I made prints for Jay's Dragon and Zane's Dragon. So I grabbed the print and embarked on one of the tedious things that I do on this channel, and that is cutting out these wings. It's extremely hard, and messing this up would destroy our whole After cutting for about half an hour, I had both of them cut out, and they look pretty nice. Then I rubbed on some of this glue-type mm, substance good. to the outside of the wings, just to make sure it doesn't fray. Now we had the wings, and all I had to do was poke a ton of little holes in it and stick it onto the dragon. This dragon is looking fantastic, but there's still one thing missing. Hey, bro. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Dude, they look so good. Once we got the neon pieces, I attached mixel joints to them and ran them down the entire spine of the dragon. With the extra ones, I attached them to the wings to give them more flair. With that, the dragon's finished but it still doesn't have any minifigures. So I think it's time to ask Brick Legends for his help on this. Alrighty guys, so it's time to work on the minifigures here. We for sure need Jay, and I'm gonna give him what I like to call the Brick Legends custom legacy suit. It uses the original body, and then it uses a totally painted blue legacy helmet. Another minifigure I've never really made is Mia from the very first season. Since I don't have the suit on hand, I had to order it from Brickly. Once I got it, I put Mia's newer head and Mia's newer hair on. I gave her two little swords, and Mia is ready to take on this skeleton. Now, the skeletons in this set are going to be Cruncha and Whiplash. You can't go wrong with the OG skeleton heads. And putting the skeleton head on with this shoulder pad is extremely satisfying because it just fits so snug into it. For the axe piece, I actually used a skeleton arm and was able to attach two axe blades to it and then made a handle using a skeleton bone cut in half. And now the minifigures are done. Because I had never actually bought the set, I wasn't aware it had a function until I looked at the instructions for it. Basically, when you drive it forward, the mouth will open up, move forward, and then drag back. I looked carefully at pictures of the actual turbo trailer from the seasons and tried to base my design as closely off those as possible. First off, I built the frame and the tracks. The tracks used in the original one were rubber. Honestly, I prefer the plastic segmented tracks better. And to give it more detail, I added purple spikes and even gin blade bases. The head in the original set is basically just flat on the front. In the show, it's more of a curved slope. So I tried to do the same thing with my version of it. I ran a mohawk of purple spikes along the back, added a couple of fierce red eyes, and finally a rack of teeth looked almost as good as Brick Legends. Oh yeah! 
Then I moved on to the back where the two massive wheels are and then stuck some spikes into the hubs. Then I moved up to the motor where I added a bunch of dark metallic pieces and some flaming exhaust. And finally was the cap where I used candlesticks and white spikes to make this rib cage looking roll cage. Then in front of the cab, I built a visor spikes made out of those one by two rounded plates. All in all, I think it looks pretty fearsome, pretty intimidating. Lightning Spire. Have you ever had a piece in Lego that you thought was entirely useless and you can never find a use for? As I was looking through my Lego, I found this pillar, a Technic pillar, from Ninjago City Gardens, and I was able to use it as the support for this pillar of rock. Dark green grass, after that I added the rocky base and some foliage. I tried to go with a light gray color scheme for the entire thing, then I moved up to the platform on top, along with a bunch of those little transparent light green lightning pieces. Finally, I added a transparent pole, added the nunchucks to lightning, and topped it all off with a massive lightning piece from Bionicle. And that's it, the spire is finished. And with that, I think these sets are complete and we can go impress Brick Legends. This is what I'm going to be calling the epic battle for the nunchucks of lightning. So let's start with the minifigures here. We've got Jay in his original suit, Nia in her original suit, and they both look awesome. And then we have Whiplash and Cruncha. We're going to start out with the lightning dragon. The head looks really cool. I really like the mouth. Yes, you can totally fit a skeleton in there and he's not going anywhere. And then we have some cool lightning coming off the sides, some awesome horns, and I love the eyes. The saddle is really cool with the flags on back. So the body is super cool, how it looks a lot like a Chinese dragon. The legs are really cool, and I love the yellow claws for the feet. And then we come to the wings, and the wings are massive and make this thing really come alive. And yes, they can fold up, which is really cool. These neon yellow pieces look really awesome, but they look even cooler with this. This right here is a black light, and sometimes it can make the color pop. We're gonna shine it on this dragon in three, two, one. Look at that. The green here just lights up, almost like it's glowing, and it looks so cool. Now, let's move on to the second build, which is where Jay finds the nunchucks of lightning for the first time. So we have a little bit of grass and foliage down here, and then moving up, it gets way more rocky. Near the top, you have a bunch of these cool lightning pieces, which look sick. And then, of course, you have the nunchucks of lightning, which look very cool up there. Now it's time to move on to quite possibly one of the coolest machines I've ever seen. This has an awesome function, so when you pull it forward, the head goes up and down. The head looks fantastic with all those nasty claws in the front. I love the cockpit, how spiky and skeleton it looks. We also have these cool spikes coming out the side that looks like huge ribs or something. The engine on the back looks sick with these awesome fire wing pieces coming out of it. One of my favorite parts here is this ladder right here using bone pieces to go up. And I would have to give it a 10 out of 10, of course. My brother, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of the stuff he builds. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video and you thought this mock was pretty cool and you want to build it yourself, you can go to brick-legends.com or to the link in the description and you can pick up the instructions for these two awesome mocks. And guess what? They're half off from now until this day right here. Now is the time to get the instructions and I cannot wait to see you in my next mock. Peace out.